goes to this point. Um, Muhammad, you talked a lot about Jesus, you talked a lot, a lot about our holy book. We're not talking much about, the, about uh, Muhammad, or, or indeed the Quran too much, um, apart from the missionary aspect of it. Um, could you tell me how you can believe, and indeed anybody in this room can believe, in one man who um, couldn't read, couldn't write, indeed uh, could get his followers uh, by bloodshed through war, uh, how you can believe that that man was a follower of God, let alone a prophet of God, uh, to, um, a, a, and to accept all his teachings as you do so glibly, and yet reject Christianity and the holy book of Christianity so, so, so easily as well. You see, you have thrown in so many things in this little contribution of yours, that how can we believe in a man who was illiterate and who by bloodshed, who had spread his faith, converted the people. Now with regards to the man being unlearned, this is a fulfillment of the prophecy in your book. A fulfillment. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 12. It says there, and the book is given to him that is not learned. A book... Please, please. The book is given to him that is not learned, saying, read. And he says, I am not learned. Now, if you look for in the religious history of man, in the Bible, you will never find an occasion where any prophet of God, when given the message of God, he says, I am not learned. But if you read any biography of Muhammad, any written by Muslims or non-Muslims, they will tell you that the first revelation that was given to him, in Ghare Hira, the Mount of Hira, when the angel of God comes to him and commands him in his mother tongue, he says, Iqra, read. And Muhammad says, Ma ana bi He said, I'm not learned. So the angel of God commands him a second time, Iqra, read. And again he says, Ma ana bi He said, I'm not learned. For the third time, the angel of God embraces him hard and he says, Iqra, bismi rabbi kalladhi khalaq. Now he grasps the message that what he was required to do was to repeat. Because this Arabic word Iqra means to read, to recite, to rehearse, to repeat. And he repeats the words as they were given to him. Iqra, bismi rabbika allazi khalaq. Read in the name of the Lord and cherisher who created. Khalaq al-insana min alaq. Say, he who created man from a mere clot of congealed blood. Iqra wa rabbuka al-akram. Say, read and the Lord is most bountiful. So he says, Iqra wa rabbuka al-akram. Say, allazi allama bil kalam. Say, he who taught the use of the pen. Say, allazi allama bil kalam. Say, allama al-insana ma'alam ya'alam. Taught man that which he knew not. The very fact that the man is unlearned is a proof that this book is a book of God.